folks, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Autodesk Maya 13, 2013 on Stella OS uh, 6.4. Uh, I'm running Stella OS 6.4, 64-bit final. Uh, the original kernel was somewhere on like 2 point plus plus something, but I upgraded to uh, 3.5 kernel and it seems to be working very fine. I mean, before you upgrade any kernel in Stellar OS or CentOS, you must not install any NVIDIA driver beforehand. If you install that, you will have a uh, failed grab boot loader or failed to boot. So the best way is you update everything, update the kernel and everything. Do not touch uh, the driver yet. And then you update the kernel. After that you reboot and do all the other necessary thing. And then you can uh, install the NVIDIA driver after that. And this is the um, latest driver I installed from uh, NVIDIA driver, not the uh, Nuvo. So hope everything is working fine for you all. So the first thing that you need to install uh, NVIDIA uh, Autodesk Maya in either CentOS or Stella OS or Red Hat or Fedora I mean any variant of Red Hat all you need to install is to install all of these necessary files in fact this one is not needed anymore but just in case you are missing something so the first thing you need to install is the MesaLibGL which is an old one TCH and TCSH are very important without them Maya will not be uh, run and libxp and libgamin audio file I don't think these are necessary at all the most important thing that a lot of people are having trouble with uh, Maya on Linux is the audio so this is the, the solution you need to install them all and then you can hear sound when you are doing animation for facial expression ok make sure you install all of this and after that you come to the main part which is uh, I'm not a Linux user expert, I'm just a noob, I'm trying to find a way around it. I love it even though it is hard, but at least I feel that it is faster and lighter than Windows. Don't get me wrong, Windows is the best. Any operating system is the best. But I just love Linux. So I come to Mar 2013 and I, I don't need to do like tar dash xf xzvf or whatever. I simply just right click, extract. Uh, you can do that with uh, any Autodesk product except Mudbox. It will not run at all. Mudbox will give you an error if you do that. So, CD, I change the directory to the folder that I just extracted. Okay, you come to this one. You see the dot set up file. In Windows, you simply double click and everything will pew 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 run. It takes quite some time, but in Linux, it's very fast if you do that. You just change the mode, give it the permission to execute to be executable, and then set up. Since I am in this directory, so I just give it a setup. And then I give it the executable permission to the file called setup, which is this little guy. And then if I want to install it, I simply run this command, and then as it goes. And then you continue, set uh use this mm. yeah that's the number that has been used for many time now uh, I use Maya at home just for uh, learning purpose only in fact it is cracked I know it is very wrong but at work everything is slicing up so I hope even Disney people also use pirate it's aware Pixar something yeah, it's okay. So the key number is for that key is six point e one. Uh, at the current state of installing this two thousand thirteen, two thousand fourteen is already out, and the product key is F one, and the number is the same, and the crack is very easy. But uh, I don't actually need two thousand fourteen uh, right now because it is not important. And there are there are not many plugin in fact uh, as available for 2014. 
In fact, most of the studio around the world who are using Linux, they don't upgrade much. Some of them are still using 2009 or 2012. That best because uh, it is not important to upgrade everything, which is kind of Autodesk is a badass right now. So, yep, I don't need composite. Composite is dead now. No one upgraded anymore. I don't need match mover. It is a dead application as well. Uh, you can either use key abstract or Sinai. Uh, Sinai is a very cheap application, cheaper than key abstract. But the majority of the application they use now is Nuke or a 3D Equalizer. Those are the best app tracking application. So you simply click Continue. That a good thing about installing a uh, thing in uh, Linux. It is very fast. In Windows, it will take some time. No matter how fast your computer, whether you have your old Xeon CPU or 128 gigs RAM, it doesn't make any difference. It will not be installing very fast, especially if you have the internet on. So 2013, you don't need to do a lot of crazy things like pass this and that, copy this and that. All you need to do is to, you have this cure, which is cure for that, and you have this lib admin. You simply copy that. Yep. I don't want to do this kind of command like cp copy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, but most of the time it doesn't work at all. So I simply, com I simply copy that. And I need to change the directory to I know it's uh, all the installation come to the USR the user and then I, I simply uh, drag USR here and then you see this Autodesk file it is like a C program file in a window USR and my 2013 and you see this lib file so I change the directory to lib file. See now it changed to lips, or I simply just change mode A plus W. That means I give a writable permission to this folder. If you do not give this command, you will not be able to copy and paste anything in that. So I simply drag and drop it. That means when you open it up, everything has this kind of key lock. That means when you pass it to place, it give me an error because. Uh, it won't allow, so you need to look for like libadmin.so. So you type the name lips at main. Yeah, I see this one. Yeah. So you simply shift delete it and you paste it there. Now you need to uh, uh, lock it again. That's mean this folder is already done. So stop it. All the key are gone. And that's it, folks. It's will be working like hell. This is my 2013. You simply just click that. It will ask you to activate, and then you click yes, I agree. Do whatever you want, and it's running. It's running fast as hell. All right, you can do a testing. Uh, I can do like uh, first. I can do like this surface stuff, just to show everything is working, and then I can do this uh, little polygon sphere. So for this one, I will do a Lambert, just in case uh, a lot of people would have a lot of problem with LibJP or whatever in Ubuntu or anything. But in here, it's uh, it's all right. It's it's all right. Yeah, just like this. So you come to this one. You come to pictures. I have a lot of picture from God of War. Then uh, realistic. Uh, it's not that realistic. Yep. It's a reference file for me. Kratos or yeah, and the bad guy. Wow, it's cool. Any picture? Yeah. I choose the bad guy. Boom. It's there. Right. And then you go fur. And you do a render. It's very, very fast. I'm running on Core 7. 2000, I mean 2600k, so uh, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, you can switch to mental ray just to see some case. There's a lot of good render out there. We ray, mental ray, mm, and all render, which is new right now, but uh, it, do, it, doesn't it doesn't make any difference as long as you understand what you are doing. So now I will show you how to install Autodesk Mudbox. 
this is my bug folk you must not right click and extract just like what I did before it is wrong so all you have to do is to change the directory to the Mudbox folder enter and then you do the stupid command of Linux ZBF and then you type the name of the file okay it's o to dash underscore Mudbox and underscore 2013 sp3 that means respect 3 okay and then ef gj i don't actually know what it is and then linux underscore 6 to 4 bit point gz and it will extract everything <laughs> done and then you just simply set up remember folks no need to do a writable condition you just type this command and it will run otherwise you are dead bro you are dead the same number but this one is for I do believe is 49081 let me check this one it's 49081 right oh come on D1 sorry it's a D1 so 2014 is E1 F1 I don't know I forget look at this mud bark yes continue and it's running done and the same you need to copy the Cure, where is it? This one? Yeah, or you can right click this cure, extract it. Okay, you have to, so just copy this one, <coughs> go to USR, auto desk, and you see the mudbox file in this lip. I'm pretty sure it's in lips, yes. So you change the directory to lips file in here. And then you change mode, give it right permission to the lib folder. And you come here, you look for the file, this one. Delete it, and then you paste this one in. And then you stop. Okay, and now here you will see uh, Autodesk graphic, Autodesk Matbox 2013. So you click and the boom. What does it miss? Come on. Something wrong in there. I need to check uh, here. Resource. Oh, do I need to do some stupid thing again? Yes, I think I will need to do this. I need to copy this command and give it this. Yes, succeed. Whatever, I try it again. It's run. Oh, it's working. I'm sorry, folks, for that. Do not show this again. Uh, you need to run this command. Uh, so, all of this. Yes, and I'm pretty sure everything is working fine. Uh, currently, my uh, Bamboo Touch CTRL 470 is not working. CTRL 470 is not working in uh, CentOS, even though I have the latest kernel. But my Graphire Recom is working. Oh, it's working. Oh, come on. It's working, but it's working differently. I never saw it. It's working. Haha. <laughs> That's fantastic. Seems to be working. Right, let me try that. Oh, it's working. Right. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Let me try that. The boot is upside down. So the lighting, you give it a normal lighting. I do not show this again. Yes. 
OK. And wow, it's working. Let me try some hotkey. Uh, I love ZBrush. It is fast, but uh, most of the time, I mean, ZBrush gives you a lot of freedom to create a lot of things, but uh, most of the time, if you are working in a production environment, the art director will design everything, so uh, you will need to make sure that everything is uh, based on the production pipeline. Of course, ZBrush rule in terms of many things, but both of them can do uh, the scouting quite well. I choose Matbox because uh, it is easier to transfer file between Matbox and Maya because of that. Uh, I'm pretty sure so is just a uh, like a vehicle. It's depending on how you drive it. So I change it to X, which is simply like uh, in uh, zebras. So now I, I don't like this material. I, I simply choose. Uh, uh, I prefer any material which is a little bit matte. Uh, I don't like lighting, so I press L to move it around. Yeah. Now I press T to hide everything, and after that I press Control D. Many time, I'll shift this. Sorry, I just want to see the pressures. I can press keys again. I will see the fall off. Okay, I love this fall off. Let me see. So, if I drag slowly, oh, it's working. Aha, I shift this one more time. I drag slow, I drag big. Wow, it's working. My webcam is working now, and wow, and this is cool. This is absolutely cool. What did I install? I simply just install. I remember. I mean, you need to update to the latest kernel because uh, kernel two point something, which is the latest one from uh, CentOS or StellarOS, is not working. So I update this one to three point five, and after that, I do like the um, install. Uh, Linux, no, sorry, Wacoms. That is it. That is it, folks. But the problem is uh, this stupid bamboo come with uh, the USB on the right. It doesn't have like window. Window, you, you, I um, mean, you can switch uh, the up and down, but this one is not allowed. So I have to uh, turn my computer to the left side. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me try on other function, object list, viewport, tone mapper. It's working. Depth of field, it's working. And cavity ambient occlusion, you can change. You can switch it just to make sure everything is working or not. Yep, ambient occlusion, it's working. You can test it. Cast land, the fade, the darkness, how dark you want it to be. Ah, cool. And screen distance, uh, which is kind of like ZDEV as well. And of course, the normal map. Yo, RGB normal map, it's working like hell. And then non photorealistic stuff. Wow. Okay, folk. Uh, I do believe you understand uh, how to set thing up. Uh, okay, now I delete all of this, but uh, first thing you need to understand is uh, this one. You want you need to do this, and then reinstall everything with these lips. And for Mudbox, do not right click and extract. You need to change the directory to that, and then use the command to extract it. And after you extract it, you simply run this setup, and it will work. But you need to, uh, yeah, Matbox machine. You need to uh, uh, apply all these command for everything to work. Okay, um, I'm sorry. English is uh, my second language. Uh, not totally second language. I'm not that good. I live in Cambodia. My name is Chu Sohei, and I'm a game animator for a Japanese game company. <laughs> Alright, bye folks.